a man uh, weights uh, 720 newton st stands on a light board when it says light board i told you that this is uh, you can neglect neglect so light board means neglected in the weight we are not going to think that this light uh, this board has a weight no zero weight and length is two meters so we are going to draw a board uh, two meter long so let's draw it this is a board which is two meters long let's indicate the distance this distance is two meters fixed on two supports at its extremities extremities means ends so we are going to put two supports under this beam at each end one end is here one support and other end is here other support two supports support one and support two so I'm going to say this is the first support on the right. Second support is on the left. And if the distance between the point where the man stands and first support is 0 0.5, yeah, there is a man. There is a man standing on this light board. Question says it's 720 Newton. But this man is standing five meter from first support. Where is first support? On the right. I put on the right. So 0.5 meter away. So this is say that 0.5 meters away. There is a man standing on the board. Let me locate the man in here. So of course this man has a weight. How much? 720. FG. And then this man is going to be pressing the board down with this force. Then this man is applying on the board a force which is gravitational force of the man or weight of the man, 720 Newton. So let me show it. This is the force applied by the man, FG. How much is 720 Newtons? What is the force exerted by the first support? Okay, because this board is in contact with two supports, one contact point is in here on the left, other contact points on the right. So there's action reaction forces between the board and the support. So the board will be pushing the support down. These supports will be giving reaction up and yeah? normal force. There exist two normal forces. Normal force, one of them is by the first support on the right. So I will say it is Fn1. It is the force exerted by the first support, Fn1. One of other support is on the left end. So it is Fn2. Force exerted by the second support. But questions asking about that, what is the force exerted by the first support? And Fn1 is the question in this problem. We will find Fn1. So these are the forces acting on the board. There are three forces. Fn1, force exerted by the first support. Fn2, force exerted by the second support. Fg, force exerted by the man. Man is standing on the board. First, draw all forces. Draw all forces on the board. And I already did them. Fn1, Fn2, Fg. Second step. Choose axis of rotation. Choose axis of rotation. Okay, I will choose it. But I am going to choose the location of one of the unknown force, which is not asked. So Fn1 and Fn2 unknown. But which one is not asked? Fn2 is not asked. As I am going to choose the location of Fn2 as axis of rotation. Third step. Now determine distances. Determine distances. Because in the torque equation we have distance. Distances for each force. So remember distance is the from force to axis of rotation. We said that distance. For Fn2 distance is zero because Fn2 is acting on axis of rotation. Okay question. If a force acts on axis of rotation, 
What is the torque produced by that force? Zero. That's why Fn2 produces zero torque. Now I'm going to show that Fn2 produces zero torque because it is acting on axis of rotation. So torque of Fn2 is zero. Okay, now let's continue with other forces. Fg. What is distance from Fg to axis of rotation? Let's find this distance. How can I get it? 2 minus 0 0.5, correct? Yes. Torque 2 is total length. 0 0.5 is right end. So this part must be 2 minus 0 0.5, which is equal to 1.5 meters. I got distance for Fg. Now tell me, Fg rotates in clockwise direction or counterclockwise direction according to this axis of rotation? If you fix your pen from axis of rotation and push in the direction of the Fg, you will see that it try to rotate clockwise. So clockwise torque is negative. Then I am going to calculate torque of Fg. Torque G. It is negative. So how can I calculate torque? Remember the equation. Ft sine theta. A sine theta 90 because these forces are perpendicular. No need to write sine 90. Sine 90 is 1. F is how much? Fg is how much? 720. What is distance from force to axis of rotation? What is this distance? 1.5. Yes, 1.5. Let's write it in here. 1.5. So multiply them. How much? 1080 Newton meter. Yes. This is torque of G. I calculated second torque as well. And one force left, Fn1. So tell me, if you fix your pen from axis of rotation and push in the direction of Fn1, in which direction will it rotate? Positive. Positive, Positive. clockwise. Say counterclockwise, sorry. Positive. Fn1 produces a positive torque. So let's calculate it. Let's calculate it. Torque 1, I am going to say this, torque N1, it is positive, yes. How much is the force? I don't know. I will calculate this. How much is distance from force to axis of rotation? What is that distance equal? 2. 2 meters, yes. Multiplied by 2. I already calculated torque of Fn1. There are three forces, Fn1, Fn2, and torque Fg. I calculated three torques, first one, second one, and third one. Now apply rotational equilibrium. Sum of the torque acting on the board must be equal to zero. This is condition for, condition for rotational equilibrium. For rotational equilibrium. So let's add them. I am going to add all of them. Torque N1 is the torque of Fn1. Torque N2, torque of Fn2. Torque G, torque of Fg. Sum of all these must be equal to zero. Fn1. Torque, torque N1, two times Fn1. Torque of Fn2, zero. Torque of G, how much? Negative 1080 is equal to zero. Continue. This negative on the left of the equation take to the right as a positive. Two times Fn1 is equal to 1080. Divide by two and divide by two. Simplify to Fn1 is equal to 540 Newton. This is the answer. I want now you calculate Fn2 as well. So I will draw the cases in here again, but in a small picture. Now, this is the board. In here a support, another support, two forces acting by these supports, Fn2, and Fn1 and Fg. One more force is acting downward, which is Fg because man is standing on the board. 
and FG is given. 720 Newton. And we already calculated Fn1. How much we calculated Fn1? 540 Newton. So can we calculate Fn2 now? Yes, we can. Because there is one unknown force is left. One unknown force is left. So this board is not moving. This board is in equilibrium, not moving. Complete equilibrium. Remember the condition for complete equilibrium. For an object to be completely in equilibrium, so first condition, translational equilibrium must be provided. The other, the sum of the forces must be equal to zero. Second condition, rotational equilibrium must be provided. The sum of the torque must be equal to zero. I already applied this first step. I applied this. Now, second step. Apply the translational equilibrium. Yani sum of the force acting on the board must be equal to zero. So now let's apply this. Sum of the force acting on the board must be equal to zero. Tell me the direction of the forces. Is the forces along x-axis or y-axis? Positive phi is upward, negative phi is downward. We are going to apply additional forces along y-axis because all forces are along y-axis, all of them. Now let's start from Fn1, Fn2. Fn2, in which direction? Positive phi or negative phi? Fn2 is upward. So positive, I so love Fn, Fn2. Fg, what is the direction of Fg? So it's the downward order, so negative phi. You are going to write this uh, force as negative number, 720, but negative 720. Why? Because in negative phi direction. Tell me what is direction of Fn1? Positive. It is upwards. It's in positive phi direction. It's positive. Positive 540. Is there another force? No. Some of them must be equal to zero. Fn2 minus 180 is equal to zero. Then Fn2 becomes, this negative goes other side as positive. Positive 180 Newton. This positive indicates you that, yes, Fn2 is in positive y direction. 